broad story of Telenor in Asia has been voiced to all. We always believed that everyone, regardless of where they live or what their affordability is, should uh, have a phone to be able to connect. The same thing is going to happen for internet. Internet is something that everyone should have access to. Not only the ones living in the cities buying expensive smartphones, uh, but also the ones living way out in the, the rural areas, in the villages. So, it's about a mindset. Uh, and you basically have two choices. You either have a, take a reactive route when you wait and see and you, you wait for the competition to take this uh, into that uh, village, you wait for the handset prices to come down, you wait for the content to be developed, or you take kind of a leap into the a step into the future saying that I want to connect every single customer I have to internet. And then you have to think differently. And we have a responsibility not only to connect you to the, but also to make it relevant to you, but also to make it affordable to you. The first one is that you have to make the content interesting enough uh, for you to actually spend uh, a little of the money you have. And out in some of these uh, villages, it's probably not going to be the WhatsApp, the line. It's going to be a much different type of content. When you have then taken a position to meet demand that already is there, that is not being served, also they are not being served by that amount. And on top, then there is a willingness to pay for it. And then it's our job to make that services low cost, that there is an ability to pay for it. The beauty of the masses is that we are talking millions, so it's possible to build scale, and through that scale to actually drive down the prices. So it's more uh, a question to us, how can we, uh, because innovation in this uh, space is not fancy new things. It's actually about bringing bring down the cost. Bring down the network cost, bring down the distribution cost, bring down the handset or the, the entry barrier cost. And I'm quite sure that you will see the same on the internet that you saw on the voice. Uh, way back when Telenor entered Bangladeshi market 18 years ago, nobody thought that uh, that's going to be a success. Today Telenor has 50 million customers in Bangladesh alone really taking uh, services, voice services out to the, the mass market.